Ben, um, what are the impacts of artificial intelligence uh, on asset management companies? You were already, uh, you know, um, hinting to that in terms of forecasting and analysis for uh, macroeconomics and so on. And how can it be applied in specific terms in asset management? Yeah, basically, AI is uh, more and more important um, for the asset management. Um, you, should, you, should, you think in this way because AI, the one of the um, advantage, they can you know handle the enormous of the data at the same time very fast. You should think about um, for our job, uh, for our analyst uh, uh, job, on a daily basis they need to read a lot of the uh, newspaper, need to um, read a lot of the financial statement. Need, Need to with a lot of different type of the information, so that is a basically uh, our analysts are doing at the moment, and then after that they need to translate it back into the result how to use right. Mm -hmm. So for AI, uh, one of the big um, advantage belong to they can handle the information quite fastly, yeah. no matter for the systematic database or unsystematic type of database. So for the systematic database, basically it's uh, easy to translate back into the time series forecast. Uh, for the unsystematic database, um, AI can easily to translate into the more readable, usable, uh, that type of the information, helping for the analysts uh, to perform the final uh, investment decision. Yeah. So AI is uh, more wisely to be used by the asset management. Uh, looking forward, I think uh, AI further developed can make some more uh, independent decision. Um, but of course, at the end of the day, um, humans should be uh, add up some on top of the final um, element and to make the final investment. Oh, yeah.